you so much. American Jukebox is a series that highlights all new hits and musical renditions from the 60s, 70s, and even the 80s. And coming up at the end of the month, the popular summertime show will be headed to the Charleston Music Hall. You want to know more about it? Of course you do. The man who's bringing that show here to Charleston, Brad Morantz. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thanks for having me. This has got to be pretty exciting, uh, putting this show on. Tell me what the audience will be in for. Mainly a lot of fun um, and hearing so many incredible songs that they'll probably be singing along with. I hope we can hear ourselves come to think of it, but uh, that's basically it. The American Jukebox series, tell us a little bit about that. We have done this uh, three years in a row, uh, presenting these you know, songs. There's so many songs from those three decades. And so we decided, okay, this is going to be the last one that we do of this style. And so we just looked for the what we thought was the best. Now that's an impossible task. Because mm -hmm. I mean, when you're dealing with the Four Seasons, the Temptations, Dolly Parton, you know, it's just share, it goes on and on. So. The best of, The right? best of, and some incredible singers too. All incredible. right, so who are some of the musical artists that'll be performing there? Uh, well, let's see, uh, Matthew Shingledecker, who is actually a Charlestonian. Uh, he ended up leaving Charleston, going and being on Broadway and Les Mis and Wicked and things like that. Uh, Michael Minor, who is a singing ventriloquist, uh, oh, does oh. cruise ships and Interesting. stuff. Interesting, okay. He'll be doing hair, actually, with his a puppet, if I can call him a puppet. I'm, we're not supposed to say that, just like that. But he'll be doing a, a ridiculous bit where uh, aliens have attacked. It doesn't matter. He's been abducted, so you'll I'll, have to come to see it. I always feel that's real talent when you can sing and not move your lips. Uh, he is incredible at that. You can be this close to him and look at his lips, and they're not doing a thing. Oh, wow. I don't understand. That it. is incredible. Yeah. This show is Friday, June 28th through Sunday, June 30th. And tell us about the ticket prices and how you go about getting those tickets. Well, it's at the Charleston Music Hall, first off, downtown. Uh, you can get them there at the Music Hall. You can get them by calling their box office. You can get them online at Ticketmaster. The only thing I'd always say to everybody is you got to be really careful when you buy tickets online now, because there are a lot of people out there uh, reselling. Mm. Think Taylor Swift, you know, and all of that. So, so what's your recommendation for getting uh, go Go right to the music hall. Okay. That's what I would do. All right, and this is a time in uh, American history where the music was popping and it lasted for generations. It's, it's good music. Uh, who is it for? Is it for the people who were alive during that generation? Is it for their kids, their grandkids? E, all of the above. But the, the reason for that really is that that music was so good, it continues to be played and used in television, film. It's used everywhere. That's why even young people know this music. Um, so really, it's for all ages. All right. Brad, thank you so much for being here with us. And if you want to check it out, American Jukebox 3, taking place at the Charleston Music Hall. You can see the show times right there on your screen. Tickets, $42 for adults. And to purchase them, you can call the Charleston Music Hall box office. We'll be right back.